today I'm going to be showing you how to make a recipe called Curly Noodle Supreme. It's pretty quick and fast and easy and we're going to use ingredients that you commonly have on hand anyway. So our ingredients today is going to be our ground turkey. We're going to have our Italian seasoning, black pepper, our, cur our noodles, then we have some diced tomatoes and our can of corn. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to turn our oven on, our stove on, and get our pan pretty hot. Now our turkey usually come in a one pound container, but we're just going to use half of it because this recipe only calls for a half a pound. So you don't need to measure the spoon or anything. Just want to open that up. And you can also get ground turkey that has the Italian season already in it and it'll probably be like 30 cents cheaper, which is always a good thing to be cheaper. So we're just going to get our ground turkey in there. Just want to cut it in half with our fork. Just get it in our pan to start cooking. Now I'm going to go over here and wash my hands. Since I did have my hands on that meat. So while our pan is getting hot and our ground turkey is browning, we're going to go ahead and open up our cans. Before you open up your cans, you want to make sure that you wipe off your can because it comes from a warehouse so you don't know if it's been dropped, what's been crawled on it, and you just want to be sure. So we're going to open up our corn. And we know our corn comes with a lot of juice, so we're just going to drain the juice right off the can into the sink. So we have our canned corn open. Now our diced tomatoes, we're going to keep the juice on that. And we're definitely going to need that juice to make sure that our ramen noodles are cooked thoroughly. Now with our noodles, this is a good thing to have your kids to do if you want to get them out your hair for a little while. You just want to take them and you want to crush them up. And you just tell them the point of crushing it is to have to not open the bag. So they'll sit there all day and they'll be just sitting there trying to crumble it up little by little, not busting the bag open. Now our meat is starting to brown. Ground turkey is a great source of protein. You can actually use any type of ground meat you want, but ground turkey is good because you don't have to take it out and drain it because it doesn't have that much grease in it. It's not that fatty as well. The ground turkey will probably take about three to four minutes to brown thoroughly. But while that's browning, we're just going to continue to crush up our noodles. And you kind of want to get your noodles ground up. You got to get your noodles crushed up pretty good because you don't want to want any big lumps so they'll cook evenly and cook a little faster. Okay, so I'm just going to stir that ground turkey around. Now, if you're using a non-stick skillet, you want to make sure you don't use metal utensils. You want to get you some wooden utensils or plastic so you don't scrape the bottom of your skillet and your food doesn't, so your food doesn't stick. Now the vegetables we're using today is corn and the tomatoes, which is also a fruit. But our corn, you can also substitute that for green beans, lima beans, any type of vegetable you like. You can even use frozen, which is great to keep on hand because you can just put it right back in the freezer if you don't use the whole bag. And it's a cost about the same as if you were buying a can of corn. So we have our turkey ground. So we're going to turn our skillet on medium and we're going to add our corn. And remember I drained the juice off my corn and then we're going to add our tomatoes. You definitely want to keep the juice on that. Give it a nice stir. Just incorporate all your ingredients together so when you put your seasoning in it will touch everything. So it calls for one fourth teaspoon of Italian seasoning. You have your spoonful. But also if you don't use that, you can also use the cup of your hand, which is a good thing. And it's equals to one fourth. So we're just gonna put that in there. And it's also one fourth of black pepper. 
and I like to take the tops off because those pretty much just get in the way just stick that right on in there like I said you can do the palm of your hand I like using my hands anyway because then I can spread out my seasonings a little better so let's just give that all a stir now for the noodles part we're just gonna get our ramen noodles open up that bag you definitely do not want to use the season packet the season packet is about 1200 milligrams of sodium which you definitely do not want in one meal so we're just gonna crush put that on in there and stir that up and basically your noodles are gonna cook from the juices from the tomatoes now you can put the top on it on your skillet if you want to make your noodles cook faster but I like for my noodles to cook without the top because I want to make sure it gets all the flavor in there. So you just want to stir that up really good to make sure that all your noodles get wet and all of them get down in that juice. This is a great recipe. When you get home, you can actually add cheese to it, but you only want to add like a fourth of a cup of cheese to keep your fat content down. But of course, kids love everything with cheese on it, so why not put some cheese on it? So now, all you have to do is just wait for your noodles to cook, and your recipe is basically done. And with the ground turkey, you can brown more meat than you need and put it in an uh, airtight container and put it in your freezer to have it for if you want to make this recipe again later on. Or if you want to use your ground turkey for like spaghetti or anything like that, you already have some ground on hand, so you won't have to take those extra four or five minutes to brown that meat up. So our noodles are getting soft now. So your noodles will probably take about six minutes to cook. The whole time for this recipe will be between 10 and 15 minutes. Something quick, easy to have on hand, things you have on hand that you can make once you get your children off the bus or pick them up from school. We know once they come home, they're like super hungry. And you don't want them going in the refrigerator getting sweet cakes and snacking on something sweet. Just tell them, hey, have them crush up the noodles for you. Start on their homework. By the time they're done with their homework, the meal is done. So basically, the recipe is done. The noodles have softened. Everything is done. So we're gonna turn our oven off, our stove off now quick keep stirring it in I just like to make sure that all my season is incorporated so I just like to keep stirring keep stirring just keep stirring let's get our plate give it a taste now of course you don't want to taste it while it's smoking but I like my food extremely hot mm, that was so good Mm, good. Mm, mm, mm. So that was Curly New Supreme. Very fast, quick, nutritious meal that you can do within 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll see you guys again. Same time, same place, different recipe. Have a good day.